สวัสดีครับ Good afternoon once again and thank you to Dr. t h u i s i n just now who gave us the uh, Thai language uh, briefing. Uh, one important point that he mentioned uh, just now uh, today is about, of course, uh, Bangkok uh, still being the hot spot, and it's very important for Bangkokians, residents of Bangkok, wherever you are. To help each other in fighting off COVID, because of course, as you see on the map and the uh, projection of the different charts uh, just now, Bangkok remains uh, the epicenter of the various infections uh, to date in in Thailand and in many provinces around the country. The situation is uh, getting better. There's Bangkok, there's p e t b u r i and there's t h r a n g uh, provinces. So, so Bangkok and the vic uh, vicinity, the surrounding provinces, that's where uh, most of the cases are uh, today. So it's very important for Bangkokians to help each other. Uh, he also mentioned an issue about the Bangkok uh, clusters, the clusters in Bangkok, wherein there was. Uh, sort of like a small issue yesterday in the uh, media here in Thailand uh, regarding the disclosure of information regarding the various areas wherein the clusters uh, in Bangkok are are found. So um, to remedy that, uh, the CCSA has provided a more detail regarding the location of the various clusters in in Bangkok. So previously, it was sort of like a particular venue, a uh, a particular uh, mall, for example, in one district. So now we've have we have uh, indicated uh, in detail uh, those locations. There is no intention of the CCSA to conceal or to hide any information. We. Have to be quite uh, sure in the information that we provide to the audience. So that explains that sometimes why we don't have the um, all the detailed information uh, all at once or all uh, in one in one day, all show, all all to be shown in one day, uh, all the time. So as soon as we have the information, we provide that. Uh, so as The public, the general public, can continue to be very, very vigilant in the areas that they visit. So the case in point today is the various locations uh, in the districts in Bangkok, and I'll go into that in short, uh, shortly. So, firstly, with the number of cases that we record for today, Thursday, the 3rd of June, 2021. We have recorded 3,626 new recoveries. That's a very high number of recoveries, actually. Very glad to report 3,626 new recoveries. We have new confirmed case report re cases reported for today, 3,886, and out of this number, 1,362 are from cases of local transmission. 1,245 are cases from the active case finding missions going on in various districts in Bangkok. 1,230 cases are from those within the prisons, the penitentiaries, and 49 are cases of those coming from abroad who have been placed directly into the state quarantine system. We have active cases, cases still being treated, hot cases currently, 49,998, so a little bit short of 50,000. Out of these active cases, there are 1,208 cases with lung inflammation, and of this number, 373 cases are uh, patients on ventilators. 39 new fatalities, unfortunately, to report today, making the cumulative total of fatalities in Thailand now standing at 1,146. For the fatalities, we have 20 male and 19 female recorded for today. Age range is Not that young, fortunately. So, 36 to 89. So, not affecting young infants like the other days we, we recorded. Uh, some patients being some some fatalities being very very young. So, 36 to 89, and the median age of the fatalities is 64. Most of the fatalities in Bangkok, with 24 cases of fatality in Bangkok. So these are numbers, these are figures and data, but every figure, every number is a life. We realize that, and it's very important that as we report these numbers every day, we take the necessary precautions, we double our efforts, uh, both on the part of the CCSA and hopefully the general public as well. In terms of provincial distribution, we have the highest number of new confirmed cases in Bangkok at 995, as you see on screen, followed by Pitburi Province, 380, and 
n o n t a b u r i and s m u t p r a k a n that are uh, provinces within the vic- vicinity of Bangkok, and then followed by t h r a n g Province, as mentioned. Just some additional observations: the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration continues to conduct the active case findings in several areas, and this was reported in the uh, morning CCSA daily meeting that we had just now. And yesterday, more than 20,000 people have been tested by these active case finding missions, these efforts uh, in Bangkok and the vicinity. The infection rate still remains uh, quite low. Around two to three uh, percent, and due to the higher number of tests being conducted, new clusters of infections have been found. So the Department of Disease Control reported that tw- two new clusters have been detected in Yanawa and t o n b u r i districts in Bangkok, and in the outer provinces, three new clusters were found in factories in the provinces of p e t b u r i Samut, p r a k a n and Cha c h e n g s a o As I have mentioned yesterday, the Ministry of Industry was implementing the mandatory self-assessment for all the factories to evaluate their risk of infections. As we talked about yesterday, the good factory practices being implemented. In addition to this effort, the Ministry of Labor will now work closely with employers to inspect accommodation sites of workers, especially in the construction sites and factories, to improve the living conditions and promote hygienic practices. A little bit on vaccine distribution. AstraZeneca Thailand announced that the first lot of vaccine locally produced by Siam Bioscience were ready to be delivered by the Ministry of Public Health. They also confirmed that uh, six million doses uh, of vaccine will be delivered and distributed to vaccine centers within this month. And to support the to support the national vaccination campaign due to start next week, the National Institute of Emergency Medicine developed the an SOP, a standard operating procedure for transferring people who experience severe adverse effects of the vaccine. The institute will provide ambulance and medical staff to vaccination centers located outside hospitals, and aims to transfer patients uh, to the nearest health facilities within 10 to 20 minutes from the vaccination center. Those who have been vaccinated with that uh, in the last 30 days are advised to monitor their health, and can contact the emergency services at hotline 1669. Around the clock, if they experience severe adverse effects, if you recall, this is the hotline of the uh, CDC, the uh, Department of Disease uh, Control, which has an English uh, language uh, personnel answering questions as well. Another piece of information that the CCSA has ordered the. Uh, suspension of the issuance of COEs for non-Thai nationals wish- wishing to enter Thailand from the country of Maldives, as well as those who have travel history to Maldives w- within the last 21 days. Uh, this is uh, taken into effect immediately due to the high rates of infections in that country, uh, especially of the Delta variant. The variant, uh, as you, if you recall, now it's in uh, Greek alphabet. The Delta variant. So currently. Uh, Thailand has halted the issuance of these permits to foreign nationals traveling from five countries. So now it is uh, India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Nepal, and the Maldives. But Thai nationals and foreign diplomats are still able to enter Thailand from those countries. Thai nationals can still enter from these five countries, but all foreign nationals from these countries uh, have uh, been halted to receive the COEs because of the variant which was first found in India. And now we call it the Delta variant. So this might be information useful for the English language audience for today. So thank you very much for your kind attention. Uh, we'll have the CCSA meeting uh, tomorrow and over the weekend, and we'll bring you the updates, especially also on the uh, any further updates or preparations for the uh, COVID mass mass vaccination uh, nationwide mass vaccination that is uh, due to start uh, next week. Uh, today is a holiday, actually, but uh, nevertheless, we're working for you. So, hope you have a pleasant uh, holiday, if it's a holiday for you. And we'll see you again tomorrow. สวัสดีครับขอบคุณนะครับท่าน